What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a good day and a happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, especially my mom. Uh, mom, thanks for having me or else we wouldn't have Tundra Dude 34. So we all thank you in some way, shape or form, right? Um, I'll keep this video short today. I'm off to run right now and then I got a really big Mother's Day party at my house. So still got some preparing to do, but I wanted to do a Sunday discussion so we could talk about this going into the new week pretty big topic on a lot of people's minds and that is gas prices they are going up in new jersey a gallon of gas right now i believe is just over three bucks and i filled up the platinum pro the other day mind you i have to have 93 octane in this right and i was about quarter tank and it was a hundred bucks so that changes a lot of things for me personally and i'm sure for the consumer the half ton pickup consumer this could very well hurt tundra sales big time now half ton pickup truck sales have been fantastic the past couple of years because gas prices have been lower um, they've been down you know at least in new jersey we've been around you know 2 220 and then we came up to about 240 and kind of just stayed there for a long time but now with gas prices going back above three dollars and from what they're saying is there is a good shot that they go above four dollars and this is gonna be a sustained thing, not a short-term spike. I don't know, man. This, Like I said, this kind of changes things for me too, personally. This puts the Camry right back into play as a second vehicle. Um, you know, the goal is I wanna get a 2019 TRD Pro Tundra along with this, uh, just to kind of review the 2019, but then I have no fuel efficient vehicle whatsoever and that would be kind of uh, terrible in my day to day life. Right now I have the FRS which gets a ton of gas mileage, uh, gets about 30 miles to the gallon and if I hyper mile it on the highway I can easily get it up to 40 which is great. Um, I just wish it was a little more practical on a day to day basis, there's no space in it, it's very low to the ground, not fun to drive in the rain or any weather so obviously I would want something a little more um, realistic but for now if I have to keep the uh, FRS that's what we're gonna do I'm not gonna make any quick decisions but for real for me after seeing these gas prices and having two fill-ups with the Tundra now that were near $100 and then this last one was just at $100 like I said it changes a lot of things for me and a lot of, in the direction I want to go but I really want to know from the people out there who are in the market for a half ton pickup what does this do for you to me the first thing that comes to mind is Ford and the fact that Ford is dropping all of their cars pretty much except for the Mustang. They're basically putting, you know, their entire bet on red if it was roulette. And they're going with all their half ton pickups. They're going with the Bronco, not the Bronco. Well, the Bronco is coming back. They're going with the Ranger. They're going with SUVs. So they're going with bigger vehicles because that's where they make a lot of sales. But if gas prices go up the way that they're talking that they might, how are they gonna sustain? That's my question. I feel like they have something up their sleeves. In a couple years, we're gonna see more cars from Ford. But I really don't know how the Tundra is gonna do in sales if this gas price issue remains, if the gas prices keep going up. It's very confusing to me. Hmm. Because obviously the Tundra has the worst gas mileage of all the half-ton pickups, right? And just so you know real quick, I'm going by a gas station right now and I'm looking at 281 a gallon. So it's actually down a little bit. So let's hope it keeps going down. Um, but yeah, so the Tundra has the worst gas mileage. So that's gonna be the truck that suffers the most, I would think. So I don't really know. People who are going for something like a Tundra or an F-150 may say, hold up, let me just get a Tacoma. Let me just get, you know, a Ranger, whatever, when it comes out. Um, something smaller, maybe, you know what? I'll just get a RAV4. I don't need the space that much. It's gonna change the way the market is. And like I said, half ton pickup sales have been fantastic the past couple of years, but this is gonna change how people look. There's a lot of people who are very worried about gas prices and MPG all the time. Like we've talked, I don't really care about MPG because I work close to home. You know, I run within five miles of my house. I could always run at my house if I wanted to, but I'd rather run at the ocean. It's no big deal, but if gas prices are going to go up to the point where I'm paying $100 a fill up, we got to say time out and then there has to be a second vehicle that is fuel efficient. So what I really want to do is I want you guys to enjoy your Mother's Day. I'm sure you all got something going on, so don't go crazy, but when you have the time, go down in the comments below and tell me what you think. I'd love to hear some of your opinions on all this and do you think this is something that's just going to be a short term deal or are we looking at the future here, long term, 
big time gas prices, second mortgage type gas prices. So let me know what you think. Twitter and Instagram at touchadu34, touchadu34gmail.com. Happy Mother's Day once again to all the mothers out there, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.